Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, and the day that we've all been waiting for is WWE Games today dropped the official gameplay trailer for WWE 2K20, and boy does it show off a lot of cool stuff. So let's not wait around, let's jump straight into this breakdown as we start off with this close up shot of Becky as she shows off her The Man shirt before we then switch to this fade in shot of The Undertaker who we see kneeling before what appears to be a giant skull furnace in the boiler room. We then get a shot of Roman as he walks out onto the stage before we then switch to a close up shot showing off his face in better detail only for The Fiend to interrupt. The next shot of Roman gives off a better look at his new model, which looks to have a lot more detail in it compared with the version that we've seen in the original reveal trailer. Following Roman, we switch back to Becky with these shots of her making her way to the ring, firstly with this close-up shot before the camera then pulls back to give off a better look at Becky's side profile, we'll first notice that the hair looks to have been updated and appears to be a lot thicker, which is something that you'll also see throughout the trailer, especially when it comes to the women. Next up, we have our first look at The Fiend's entrance, as we see him appear here on the stage holding up his lantern, however this shot doesn't show the face, as it appears to be either darkened out or facing The Fiend, but it can be seen during the glitch effect, and we'll also get a proper look at this later on. For our next clip, we switch back to Becky, as we see the camera pan up from her legs, as The Fiend text continues to glitch in, leading to this shot of The Fiend, which gives us our first proper look at his face, and this epic recreation of his mask, which looks awesome in this lighting. From here, this is where the trailer really starts to kick into action as we get various shots of the four horsewomen in their default attires, starting out with Charlotte who we see removing her robe and then performing her signature handstand. Sasha's up next with a similar shot to the one that we've seen in her initial reveal, as we can see her here wearing her Elimination Chamber attire as she performs her signature pose on the stage. Up next we have Sasha's tag team partner Bailey, who can also be seen sporting her Elimination Chamber attire as she throws her arms up in the air to signal her inflatable tube men. These next three shots again show off Charlotte, Sasha and Bailey, leading to this zoomed out shot of Becky's neutrons in the Raw arena before we then see this angle of Becky approaching the ring, which is the same as the screenshot WWE Games posted prior to the reveal. Up next we have another shot of Becky, however this time we see her making her way to the ring in the Evolution arena where she's seen sporting her black and gold attire from the event itself. Staying with Becky, we also have this look at another of her alternate models, with this shot of her making her entrance in the WrestleMania 35 arena, which again sees the camera placed behind Becky, seemingly to show off the hair updates and the added volume. From current day WWE, we dive back into the past with this footage of Bailey and Sasha Banks from NXT TakeOver Rival, with these shots giving us a great look at both women's attires. Staying with Bailey and Sasha, the next clip takes place at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn as we see Bailey delivering a Bailey to Belly on Sasha before we then switch to WrestleMania 34 as Charlotte applies the figure eight to Asuka, attempting to break her undefeated streak. Going back to Raw, we have more shots of Charlotte and Becky as we see Becky delivering a dropkick to the back of Charlotte, then we switch to this awesome shot of the Hell in a Cell arena featuring Charlotte and Sasha Banks, with this being part of the match in Raw for their first ever Women's Hell in a Cell match in the 2K showcase. As we've seen with all of the trailers so far, the next clip sees Roman delivering a Superman punch, this time though it's in the Smackdown arena against Eric Rowan, who we see here for the very first time. As you can see from the footage, Rowan's attire lacks any shirt logos like the ones that he wears on TV, likely due to WWE not owning the copyright to the designs, however it would have been nice to see 2K include a custom design rather than leaving the shirt blank. The next clip sees us back with the Fiend as he approaches the ring, again with the face of the lantern either turned round to face himself or blacked out, however as the clip progresses we do see the face appear which looks nothing short of awesome. As for why it's not fully shown, this could be to help keep the age rating down, as as you can see from the corner of the video, the trailer is already age rated at 16, likely due to the that head serving as the lantern. Next up, we're back in the ring as Becky delivers a Beck Exploder to Bailey before we then see this shot of the Hell in a Cell being lowered from the 2K showcase. Staying with Becky and back in the Evolution arena, we once again see her delivering a Beck Exploder, this time though it's to Charlotte as she puts her through the table propped up in the corner. As we switch to the next shot of Becky, we see her celebrating in the ring with both the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships at WrestleMania, with this shot looking very similar to the default title celebration that was seen in past games. Speaking of WrestleMania, we also get this entrance shot of the arena, which shows the wide Titantron and then leads to some new entrance shots, firstly with Brock Lesnar, and then secondly with the Beast Slayer Seth Rollins, who can be seen wearing his golden black attire from the show. As we switch over to NXT, here we have our first look at the Undisputed Era's Adam Cole, who can be seen wearing his dog tags around his neck, before we then get our first glimpse at The Rock's $500 shirt model, which is included as part of the SmackDown DLC in both the Deluxe and the Collector's Editions. 
Next up, we have some WCW guys on shore, firstly with the Sting's Crow model, which looks to be the same as in previous games, with a generic WCW Minitron shown off in the background. Our next WCW reveal shows off Goldberg in the WrestleMania 33 arena, with this model again being the same classic model of Goldberg that has been included in the past. From the past, we head to the future and back down to NXT for the reveal of Io Shirai, who makes her debut in the series this year. Following EO, we have new shots of Kairi Sane spinning her shipping wheel on the turnbuckle, and then the reveal of the Velveteen Dream as he pauses in the middle of the ring. Next up, we have this shot of China as she fires off her pyro cannon, another look at Kevin Owens, whose entrance was seen released previously, and then this new gameplay footage showing off Roman Reigns in the WrestleMania 35 arena as he performs a barricade breakout OMG on Drew McIntyre. From here, this is where things get a little bit crazy, as we have the reveal of this lava-filled Colosseum arena featuring a giant skull on the entrance and gargoyles perched around the ring, leading to this shot of what looks to be the Demon King version of Finn Balor that will be included in the 2K Originals Bump in the Night DLC. Looking at the arena in the background, this looks to be a separate arena to the one shown in the previous shot, therefore we could see both arenas included as part of the original's DLC. Getting back to reality, we have this shot of Sasha Banks as she delivers a neckbreaker to Nia Jax, which is very similar to the screenshot of the pair that was released previously. Then all things go crazy once again as we have the reveal of what looks to be the Wyatt Swamp arena that we originally seen shown off in the Bump in the Night concept images, with this arena looking incredibly eerie. Staying with these new arenas, we also have this shot of The Undertaker making his entrance in what looks to be the Skull Arena from earlier, which could be something to do with my career, as we did see The Undertaker in front of the Skull Furnace earlier, which could potentially be a portal into this arena. Again, flicking back to reality, we have this clip of Braun Strowman as he performs an announce table OMG and chokes Sam Seth Rollins through it. Then we find ourselves back with Bailey and Charlotte, who can be seen sporting new attires in the old Raw arena, with this shot taken from their showcase match on Raw. As you can see from this clip, this model of Charlotte again features an alternate hairstyle, which will prove useful for creators when creating updated attires. Speaking of new attires, here we get our first look at new attires for Alexa Bliss and the Iconics, with Alexa's default model featuring her black, pink and green attire with her Consider Yourself Bliss shirt. Also shown off here is what looks to be a Frozen inspired arena, which was most likely created in Create an Arena mode, which would imply that the mode will see a lot of new updates that also include more fantasy elements. Alongside those fantasy elements, something that is really easy to miss here is the addition of snow, as not only does the arena seem to feature snow on the floor around the crowd, but when you go through this footage frame by frame, then you can actually see snow falling, which could confirm the addition of weather options, which would make for a very interesting addition. Also notable is the length of the ramp, as while it could just be the camera angle, it does appear to be a lot longer, meaning this could be the year that we finally see bigger venues included, featuring longer entrance ramps. As we switch to this next shot, we see Alistair Black's Originals model sitting in the ring, before he then suddenly starts to levitate. Meanwhile, this next shot shows off the Demon King version of Finn Balor, as he delivers 1916 to Black in the Originals arena, which the more I think about it, could hint that this arena is a home arena for the Demon. Our next big reveal sees the inclusion of Nikki Cross, who was missing from the series last year, but returns in 2K20. Next up, we have this epic shot of The Undertaker and Kane battling it out in the boiler room, which appears to have been set on fire. Getting even creepier, here we have another arena shot, potentially from the Graveyard Cemetery area, as we can see these creepy dolls stuck to the wall. Following the earlier reveal of Nikki Cross, next up we have our first look at Tommaso Ciampa, who also returns to the game this year. He's also joined by former NXT UK champion Tony Storm, who makes her official debut in the series. Also new, we have a zombie version of Sasha Banks in what looks to be the Graveyard Arena from the Originals DLC, seemingly confirming Sasha of one of the mystery superstars. Next up, we have the Hulkster, who is yet another superstar returning to the series this year, with Hogan being exclusive to the SmackDown DLC pack, alongside China, $500 shirt Rock, and the Rock and Sock version of Mankind. This next clip features Roman Reigns delivering car finisher to Drew McIntyre as he powerbombs him through the windscreen of the limo, with the production trucks in the background showing off updated graphics. From there, we go back to the beginning with more shots of the cover stars, firstly with this shot of Becky on the steps, and then this shot of Roman. Switching to SmackDown, Shinsuke Nakamura is up next, as he can be seen making his entrance, and then we have the long-awaited return of Jerry the King Lola, who's included as a playable character for the first time since I believe WWE 13. Staying with Legends, we also have the confirmation of the Million Dollar Man, who can be seen here receiving a leg drop from Hulk Hogan. 
Also included, we have the return of X Park, who can be seen here wearing his classic red, black, and white attire, although he has updated DX graphics. As the trailer begins to close out, we get this entrance shot of Seth Rollins in the WrestleMania 35 arena, a mixed tag team clip as Bailey tags out with Finn Balor, who we say is also included in the game as the Demon, before the trailer then ends with more entrance shots of Becky and Roman. Also included after the logos, we have this very short flash of The Fiend, who pops up again at the very, very end. So there you go, that is the new gameplay trailer for WWE 2K20 and our full breakdown of everything included in it. Let me know what you made of it in the comments and if you spotted anything that I missed. Now I will be doing a follow up video to this one with some additional information so stay tuned for that and if you're not already then please do hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date with all the latest WWE 2K20 news. Until next time though, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.